What is up everyone and welcome back to this second episode of this tutorial series on how to interact in VR with the Oculus Interaction SDK. In last video, we learned how to set it up and do a simple grab and in this video, we will continue looking at some more advanced interaction that work for both controller and hand tracking with physics grabbing, restricted movement and two hand manipulation. But before starting the video, you know the drill, if you are enjoying this tutorial, make sure to subscribe to the channel to not miss the next video about hand pose and you can support the channel on my patreon where you will be able to find the source code as well as some exclusive content but without further ado let's get started so if you've been following the previous tutorial you might have noticed some odd behavior when releasing the cube we are grabbing and the reason is that we used a rigid body that is not kinematic so there is two ways we can fix this either we set the rigid body on the cube to kinematic and this is what I'm going to do now by selecting our three cube and clicking over there. The second solution is to make our transformable physics. To show you this, I'm going to duplicate the third cube. By the way, you can see that I've added before recording this tutorial a little text next to each cube to tell how we can interact with them. And so on this new cube that we have, I'm going to name it physics transformable. Perfect, we can set each rigid body to non-kinematic. And to make it physics, we simply need to add a physics transformable component to it. Then drag in the transformable, the transformable of the cube, and do the same for the rigid body. Perfect, now let's click on play to test this. As you can see, now we can still grab the cube, but when we release it, it behaves better and it will now move using physics properties. Okay, now that we got that out of the way, the next thing I want to show you is restricted movement when grabbing. Now, by default, when I click on play, you can see that automatically a one hand free transformer component is added to our interactable. This is what happens when you don't set your own transformer that basically tells the interactable what happens during the grabbing. But instead of the one hand free transformer, there are other transformer that will allow us some different movement while grabbing the cube. Now let's see what's possible to do with this. We need to make some more room so I'm simply going to select all of the four interactable that we have and move them a bit further. Now let's select our third cube, the one that is kinematic, and I'm going to duplicate it and position it in front. Let's change the name on the little text to translation movement. And if we click on add component and search for one hand, you can see that there is some other type of one hand transformer. So let's try first the one hand translate transformer. As the name suggests, this component allows for a transition movement, but with no rotation, which can be pretty useful in a lot of interaction, especially when you want to move an object along a plane. So let's try this by making our cube be grabbable, but only along the table that we have. We can constrain here the movement on the X, Y and Z axis. So let's try this. I'm going to add a constraint on min X and max X. We can do zero on the min and 0 0.4 on the max and do the same on the Z constraint. For the Y axis, I can make it constrained, but we can keep it to zero at min and zero at max. So this means that the cube will be able to move only on the X and Z axis and not on the Y axis. Now, the last thing we can do is say if we want this in the world space or relative to this object, which means that if it's relative, we are taking the initial position of the cube and moving it along its own pivot here, which is what I want to rethink the movement of the cube along the table. So I'm going to enable it. And there you go. Now the component is set up correctly. But important, now that we have made our own transformer, we need to add it in the one grab transformer of the transformable. Otherwise, it will keep using the default one and free transformer. And so let's drag it just over there like this. Perfect. Now let's click on play to try what we made. And there you go, guys. As you can see, it worked. We can now grab the cube as before, but it cannot move further than a certain min and max value on the X and Z axis. 
and he cannot move up or down. Another transformer that I want to show you is the one hand rotate transformer. So let's do as before, duplicate the third cube which is kinematic, change the text to rotation movement, and on this cube, I'm going to add the one hand rotate transformer component. We can, as before, drag it in the one hand transformer of the transformable component. And as the name suggests, this component is the same as the translate transformer. But instead of changing the position, this change the rotation of the interactable which can be really helpful to create some interaction like opening a door. So let me show you how we can do this. First, I'm going to scale this cube just to give it more of a door look. Now, the text looks a bit weird, but I'm going to put it back to normal just like this. Okay, so as you can see, the one hand rotate asks for a pivot transform, which will say where the door should revolve. So for this, we can right click in the hierarchy and create an empty game object rename it door pivot. Now we can place this game object exactly at the right corner of this door. So let me show you a little tips that will help us do that with vertex snapping. We can select our game object, press on W to be able to move it, and then press on V. This should change the pivot icon and now we can move the game object to the vertex we want. So if I click on the bottom right corner of the door, as you can see, it work. Our game object is at the exact vertex position that we want it. And now we can simply drag it in the one hand rotate component as the pivot. And you can see we can now define what rotation axis to take into account, which I will keep at up axis in the case of this door and for the min angle and max angle if I take the pivot and I can see on the y axis that a rotation of around minus 120 to 0 would be good so let's go back to our component click on constraint do for the min value minus 120 and for the max angle 0 and there you go, everything should be ready. Now let's click on play to try our game. So I'm going to try to grab our door. And there it is, as you can see it works. Our cube revolves correctly around the pivot and it is indeed restricted from 0 to minus 120. This is just a time saver for all kinds of interaction, like opening a door, opening a chest, and so on. It's so cool. Okay, guys, I think we have still enough time to squeeze another amazing feature from the Oculus Interaction SDK, and I'm sure you will particularly enjoy this next one. I'm going to show you how we can manipulate and scale an object with two hands. So, as we did before, I'm going to duplicate or third cube, change its text uh, to 2N to manipulation. And as with earlier, we can add a transformer component, but this time it will be the 2 hand free transformer. Now note that here there is a 2 hand plane transformer that do exactly the same as we had for the 1 hand manipulation, but this time with 2 hand. Now to set up this 2 hand free transformer, we can simply drag it in the 2 grab transformer of the transformable component. And there you go, that's basically it. Let's click on play to try this. As you can see, we cannot grab the cube with one hand anymore, but when I grab it with two hands, it will the cube follow the middle of our two hands and rotate according to the direction we give him. And it can even scale when I move my hands apart. That's awesome. Now, to make it both able to be grabbed with one hand or two hands, we need to go back to our cube and add a one hand free transformer, which is what I told you before. Uh, what the default component used to move an object but as we added the 2 end transformer it is for some reason not being added anymore so let's now drag it as the one grab transformer in our transformable and there you go now we have both for one end and two end everything set up in our transformable and also if you don't want the cube to scale when moving your ends apart you can use here the scale constraint to make it stay at its original scale now here you go let's click on play once and for all to try this and there it is guys we managed to create two end manipulation interaction as well as physics rubbing restricted movement and all of this in a 
single video that I hope you enjoy following. Now, please, if you did, make sure to leave a like below. It really helps to promote the channel as this video takes a lot of time to make. We learn a lot of cool interaction in this video, but I think you will enjoy particularly the next part where I will show you how to make hand pose when grabbing an object. But for now, you know the drill. The Patreon link is in the description below if you want to get the source code as well as some exclusive content. Thank you for watching and see you soon. Bye bye.